first time I came to Jordan, I was actually a little bit worried about safety and, you know, traveling in a country where all my friends are saying, why would you go there? It's, isn't it dangerous there? And um, my opinion about that quickly changed as soon as I landed here. As a landscape photographer, the thing that stuck out the most to me was the light here. Golden hour seems to last for a full hour, which is kind of unusual. Usually that's for, you know, about 15, 20 minutes. And if you get to the right spot at the right time, you can have just an absolute, complete card full of amazing images. We were walking around the Dana Nature Reserve and I just stumbled across this one donkey standing on the edge. His owner came up on a horse and was just, we were chatting a little bit and, and I asked him if I could take his picture. I said, sure, sure. So I snapped a couple shots of him and I have this sun star just like poking through right behind him and the horse just looks completely, just so majestic. One of the things that surprises people the most, I think, when they come to Jordan is the abundance of historical sites. There are Roman ruins, these, these massive pillars that you wouldn't think would be here. The castles here are something else. You can go exploring in them and you feel like you're living in a video game because you can climb on top of the walls, stand at the highest point in the structure and just overlook all sorts of amazing scenery. As a woman traveling through Jordan, it is surprisingly easy to get around and the people are very friendly. The people here have such a great sense of humor and they're so welcoming and no matter where you go, like you will always leave with a smile on your face. At one point I was standing overlooking the Sea of Galilee, which holds the borders of Syria and Palestine. and. It was kind of a powerful feeling to be that close to an area like that that's so discussed in the news and even amongst friends and family, but I felt completely safe there. There was nothing going on and really the only thing to be honest that I was noticing was the amazing light pouring in over the water that was lighting up the ruins around me. The scenery here is, I think, best described as otherworldly. From the Martian-like landscape in the desert to the canyons that are just like something out of a fairy tale, with palm trees sprouting up out of the walls and you look up and you can't even see the sun because the rocks around you are so high. And the color of the water is just an electric shade of aqua that it's every landscape photographer's paradise. Mm -hmm. 